The U.S. Air Force officially accepted the first Boeing F-15EX aircraft, an important milestone for the upgrade program of a fighter fleet. The new fighter is a two-seat aircraft, though operable by a single pilot, with fly-by-wire flight controls, digital cockpit displays, and advanced avionics systems. To include the Eagle passive or active warning and survivability system, an electronic warfare upgrade also being fielded on F-15E models. This is a big moment for the Air Force, said Colonel Sean Dory, F-15EX program manager with the Air Force Life Cycle Management Center's Fighters and Advanced Aircraft Directorate. Responsible for the acquisition, modernization, and sustainment of the aircraft. With its large weapons capacity, digital backbone, and open architecture, the F-15 EX will be a key element of our tactical fighter fleet and complement fifth-generation assets. In addition, it's capable of carrying hypersonic weapons, giving it a niche role in future near-peer conflicts. The Air Force plans to acquire 144 F-15EXs from Boeing to replace F-15CD models and refresh the F-15 fleet. At an average age of over 37 years, the F-15CD fleet is fast approaching the end of its useful life and operating on the margins of structural integrity. The F-15EX provides a cost-effective and expedient solution to refresh the F-15CD fleet and augment the F-15E fleet to meet national defense strategy capability and capacity requirements well into the 2040s, while preserving aircraft availability from significant impacts that service life extension and modernization programs would have on the F-15CD fleet. The process to acquire the F-15EX aircraft started in February of 2019, when General David Goldfein, then Chief of Staff of the U.S. Air Force signed the F-15EX rapid fielding requirement document to address readiness issues with an aging F-15 fleet. From there, the Directorate's F-15 program office developed the acquisition strategy, awarded the contract, conducted design and verification reviews and worked with Boeing to manufacture and test the aircraft in record time. It has taken a team effort to get to this point, added Dory. I'm extremely proud of the team, to include members of the Propulsion Directorate, Simulators Program Office, Air Combat Command, Air National Guard, Air Force Material Command, Defense Contract Management Agency, the Air Staff, and our industry partners for achieving this first aircraft delivery milestone. I commend the dedicated efforts of the entire team for bringing this platform online in record time and in the middle of a global pandemic said General Arnold W. Bunch, Jr., Commander of Air Force Material Command. With its open mission systems architecture and weapons capacity, the F-15EX will provide an outstanding capability for our nation for years to come. Following its acceptance, the new aircraft will be flown to Eglin Air Force Base, flopper testing, a second F-15EX will be delivered to Eglin by the end of April 2021. The other six Lod-1 aircraft will be delivered to Eglin in fiscal year 2023 and will undergo operational testing. to expedite the testing needed to declare the F-15EX ready for operations. The team will use previous testing data from F-15 foreign military sales variants and US-only subsystems and operational flight program software.
aircraft in lots 2 and 3 are on track for delivery in FI 2024 and FI 2025 to Kingsley Field in Portland Air National Guard bases, both in Oregon. Currently, the 173rd Wing of Kingsley Field serves as the F-15CD training school and will assume the same role for the F-15EX. The 142nd Wing at Portland will be the first operational unit to fly the aircraft.